Cam TV. What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to Cubs Clubhouse here on Platform B. Really excited to be here. And of course, we are joined by a very exciting guest today. One of my biggest enjoyment factors out of doing this show is being able to talk to so many fantastic international artists who are absolutely carving their own paths. And this is a guy who is most certainly doing that right now, representing Zambia and doing some absolute bits. We've got Jay Cash on the line. How are you doing, sir? I'm well, I'm well. How you doing, bro? Really, really good, man. Really good. It's awesome to get you on the line. Honestly, um, when I, when I uh, reacted to the tune of yours um, and saw the instant love coming from your end, it was awesome. And I've got to say, from a kind of content creator's point of view uh, and from someone who is a fan of what you do, being able to get that line of communication so quickly was so refreshing. So thank you, first and foremost, for coming on the show. Means a lot. Actually, let me allow me to say this. Just me being on this platform with you. Age, bro. It's, it's everything to me, basically. So the feeling's oh mutual. Awesome, man. That's great mm -hmm. to hear. I mean, it, it's it's always a fun kind of uh, introduction to these because I love asking the question, "How's your year been?" Um, and in this case, it's it's crazy because your year has been awesome so far by the looks of things. A couple of awesome singles we'll get onto in a second, but just from your point of view, um, and I'm assuming there's going to be a few listeners that haven't necessarily heard what you've been doing. Doing. Uh, talk me through your year so far. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, I'll, I'll be very honest. Um, I just dropped like uh, people like me with your maps, which happens to be like uh, my first official single for the year 2023. And um, so far, I feel like we're six months in, right? So this is basically like the first half of the year. So uh, yeah, we dropped that one. And then there's a collab album. It's a joint album, me and J Rocks. It's, it's up next. I'm, I'm sure you heard that uh, Lev was here one. I, I saw your reaction to that one too. Big ups. So yeah, that's how we kick started the year. And then um, it's going to be more piling up after this. Awesome, man. That's great to hear. I, I mean, I obviously want to deep dive into these two collaborations because these are um, two, two of the kind of most popular names out there right now. We actually we had the pleasure of speaking to J-Rocks on the show um, a little while ago, actually. And, and he was such so awesome to talk to, such a kind of, kind of I don't know, the way he thinks about things and his process was so kind of interesting to listen to. From um, a fellow musician's perspective and a writer's perspective, how, is it, how has it been for you this year kind of working with two such kind of interesting musicians more than anything else? Wow, ish. I'll be very honest. Um, I'll start with I'll start with your maps. Your maps is great, man. Your maps is great. Your maps is doing big things um, out here, you know. And then me just uh, sharing a jam with him. This is like the third time like we we drop in music together. Uh, so ish is like um, the artist with that magnitude is, is is really a blessing to me. And then also the chemistry. While we're in the studio creating this music, I guess is, is also what matters. You know, we're just not going to get into the studio just because we want to make a banger and then boom, that's it. You know, it's about chemistry and where you want to take it. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm on interviews with you guys because, you know, <laughs> it's a recognition. And then J-Rocks, J-Rocks, um, J-Rocks is, is, is a hip hop artist too, but then he's more, he's, he's also more of, of, of that dancehall vibe. You know, so me and him decided to join forces and just do a collab album, which started as a as a single project. And then we said, you know what? Let's try and take it to the next level and see how people are gonna receive this. Right now, it's still a surprise around here. They feel we only dropped the single, but it's a whole package coming. Oh, and I'm just spilling the beans on this platform, you know. Oh, we love yeah. to see it, man. We love to hear the exclusives and we love to hear like the the, 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 mm -hmm. the unique bits of information. I won't lie. When you mentioned that, I thought, how have I missed that? Has that been announced? I don't know what's going on. How <laughs> have I missed that? So yeah. I appreciate you for the exclusive, yeah. man. That's such an awesome thing to, to be jumping into. Um... Um, and I think when you're obviously working on a sort of extended project with someone, you really do kind of find out a lot about each other. You do kind of work out how each other kind of tick and you understand each other's creative processes so much more. Um, do you feel like you've been, you've kind of changed um, musically off the back of doing that collaboration project? Uh, well, not necessarily, but well, I'll be very honest. If, if two bigger artists are coming together, it's gonna be too much homework going on, you know. So I'm like, hey, I need to, I need to boost my A game up, pain wise, you know. So, Jerox is a great artist. Me and him are collaborating for the first time ever. So, hey, this is magical, really magical. 
Awesome, man. I mean, and again, I can hear the excitement in your voice about it. And I think alongside that, yeah. itself, um, what the, the actual track itself was so cool to hear because it, I mean, to me, and I might be completely wrong here. Obviously, I'm not on the ground. I'm kind of observing from <laughs> from the other side of the world. But it, it yeah, definitely yeah, felt yeah. like it definitely felt like that as a collaboration was was very. It was yeah. different, but it made sense. You know, that's that's the vibe that I yeah. immediately got off it. Um, did you kind of go into it with that as an intention, like to try and create something off the beaten track a little bit? um well yeah we wanted to give them a different sound because people back here is uh you know people are really sidelining it because they're trying to go to the commercial side of things so we decided yo no bigger artists have come together and you know made this type of sound you know being all hungry and you know just going all in so we said hey let's bring this back and see what what's what is going to come with awesome awesome mm -hmm. and again you can you can hear that you can hear the uh again the originality and that's something i always love to hear um when i'm reacting or when i'm playing stuff on radio originality and a uniqueness is such a cool thing to be able to take away from it um and i, I know we've already yeah. spoken a lot about this collaborative um project um which again i can't thank you enough for the exclusive on it that's great to know um what's yeah. the sort of rough kind of plan with that because obviously we saw the music video for um the, the mm -hmm, first collaboration mm -hmm. land and that was such a cool video to see i love the back and forth i love the yeah. cinematography in it what's the sort of plan for rolling out the rest of the rest of the project um okay so what's gonna follow right now is uh well as i'm speaking i'm in the studio right now me and my boy are doing final mixes so we got like um i think four to go right after that we're gonna um, we're gonna announce the the track listing and then we'll drop the artwork too so i feel we've got a date we've got like first week of june we're looking at the feet so yeah right after it drops we have having a music video dropping too off the project so hey it's so bad you're letting me spill all the beans oh Come man on. you see this is the trick man i just let people talk that's the trick <laughs> that's the trick sure. um but it's yeah sure. no it's it's awesome to hear man and again i'm loving that kind of speedy turnaround as well do you i suppose do you feel kind of pressure in that sort of scenario to chase like a single like that up and get the project out there as soon afterwards like do you feel a pressure to to follow up um well yeah i'll be very honest yeah because like right now we're working with time so I feel if we slack a little bit, then we're gonna, you know, hold the, the the drop, and which is not a good look for the fans. But at the same time, we haven't made no announcements yet. It's just that we have a target, and uh, all all we're working on is like beating the target and make sure everything is on time, ready. Awesome, man. and again, I love I love hearing mm -hmm. it. I, I mean, it's an interesting, obviously, a tight time music-wise for yourself, and obviously, off the back of this, we are seeing a number of different, really kind of unique Zambian artists actually starting to collaborate more. We're starting to see different projects land, um, and I always feel it's a weird question to ask. How do you feel about kind of a, a country's music scene as a whole? Because obviously, there are so many different styles and sounds and things going on. Um, but from your perspective, um, like, what would your next sort of, I suppose, in collaboration be like who would you look to work with next uh you mean from within here yeah wow there's so many great artists around here um hey <laughs> i look at working with um uh there's a guy called neil i don't know if you've heard of neil neil is a very good singer um there's a guy called j max too um hey just too many people i can list right now but um uh, also for me it's not really about planning who i'm gonna work with next it's also about um if i create a type of vibe and then i say who's the perfect fit for this one and you know like who would make sense so Ish, i wouldn't really i would say a name right now and then you see somebody else the next time so you're like oh <laughs> you know so but yeah just to mention a few i think i'll i'll, I'll give those names out awesome man awesome and again mm -hmm. i cannot implore people enough who are locked in um, whether you're locked into the video or whether you're locked in live on air when this is going out i cannot implore you all enough to go and actually take a look around some of the the uh, musicality um coming out of yeah. of zambia both on the hip-hop side of things and on the more commercial side of things because there's so many cool artists doing genuinely kind of groundbreaking things um and it's such an enjoyable kind of rabbit hole to go 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 falling down you yes. know like and you can you can spend hours just exploring artists you may have never found beforehand um, I suppose then for you then, what's the sort of the end of year kind of situation for you? Like, what are you hoping to get kind of rounded up by the end of this year? 
Uh, by the end of this year, I've, I I want to drop my third um, studio album. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm I've already been working on on projects. Like I think we got like five or, or something done. So the whole idea is just to record enough and then do the elimination uh, method afterwards. I I don't really have dates, but I know for a fact it's towards the end of the year. Considering the fact that it's it's six months in already, you know. So awesome. there's a big project. It's a big J Cash solo project coming up too. Sick, man. That's awesome to hear. And again, I was that that for me yeah. kind of fills me with excitement just off the it just off the most recent two singles. Like the, the amount of variation we've already heard off those yeah. two alone. I think that bodes really nicely for an upcoming project. And I just wanted to say again, dude, thank you for jumping on the show. Um it's been awesome to actually chat yeah. to you, hear a bit more about your process. And I know as you are currently in the studio, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I want you to get back on back on the uh, back on the mixing and mastering process and get that EP finished because um, I'm excited to hear yeah. it more than anything else dude so again, yeah. thank you for coming on the show you won't be disappointed you won't be disappointed yeah. my guy my guy right then people we are going to jump into uh, the mix section after this so do keep it locked we are live on platform B a massive shout out to J Cash for joining us dude it's been an absolute pleasure we'll speak soon bless sounding so good right now but it's on in a bright and tall. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now, Corp Cam TV. Stay locked. <laughs>